Hello YouTubers, welcome to vlog number 93. Today is a lovely chill day. 60 minute erg, 60 minute bike or row. See which one happens in the second session and then a lovely lower body weight session. Looks like the long streak of sunny weather has come to an end. We have some rain today. Yeah, buddy. Got my smoothie over there somewhere. Let's get to the club. Let's get training. And we've made it to Cavisham. Got my smoothie in hand. Same as yesterday. Oats, yogurt, milk, protein powder. Strawberry and banana. Excellent. Got my suction cup. Just in case you get in the water this time. Fingers crossed for a sweet boat. Possibly in the four. We'll see. But ergo and row our bike. Let's get changed in the gym. And we'll find out what we've got for first session. And it has been decided it is time to row any four. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been since February, so similar time to since the um, I was out in a single. Well, that was, or since I actually was on the water. But now we're in a four. With Fraser Christie, who is it? Ed Fisher and. And I think yourself. <laughs> oh, you're yeah. Four? <laughs> For 20 bags. Let's get to it. And an awesome session in the four with Ed Fisher, James Morby, and Fraser Christie, and myself. Thank you very much. Got my breakfast now. Eggs, eggs, beans, and bread. Delicious! To recover, food is fuel, remember. Gotta fuel that. Gain train. Got an egg, perhaps, and then waits this afternoon. Let's eat breakfast. And just had a wonderful breakfast in the crew room it was excellent. They have upped the portion size since there's a little less people at Leandro Club at the moment with the guys at Bagnoles on camp. So we get on the game train even more. Excellent. But definitely looking for the guys, looking forward to the guys coming back. Now I'm on the Ergo with Fraser, not on the same one, on the gray machine with 16K, nice UT2. And then we've got weights later on after lunch. Yeah, buddy. Them gains not stopping now. Let's get to it. Okay. And as you can see here, we've got Fraser Christie trying out the way layback checkers. Not recommended. The layback we have is probably the most you want to do. But everyone's individual and they can do their own checkers. Don't take any of my advice to heart. Take it with a little bit of a pinch of salt, because I am not a professional coach. So today, as you can see on the air go, I have no shoes, because I did get them from Cavisham, but I forgot to take them to the other club. And as Fraser and I start, you know what this chat's going to be about. You can read the title. So today, I'm just going to update you on my progress. And pretty much, progress can also be decided or described by the step test I did on Friday. I got the results yesterday, or uh, Tuesday. But, the results from the step test. Basically, long story short, what happens is you get watts for each level of lactate. Lactic acid in your blood. And then that means you can sort of tie it to training zones so your heart rate so when so when you know you're in a certain training zone and lactate wise you can then connect that to your heart rate and as Stu here Stu Ennis lifting weights the music wasn't loud enough so we needed more volume there you go turn it up so like I said 
with the step test, it gives you lactic acid levels for different watts and essentially different splits. And then you can use that to tie to different heart rates. And then you get training zones specific to you, which is an excellent tool for me to use as I progress, as I get fitter. So the results from the actual step test suggested that I was in the exact same level of fitness that I was when I joined Leander Club in 2015. So, two things going off of that. One, okay, that's not great. Because that means that I've stepped back from, so 2015 level fitness to from 2018 level fitness. So the peak of fitness should have been 2018, end of 2017, end of 2018, before I had my surgery and my time off. But the positive thing is that I am back to where I was in 2015 when I joined Leander. So that was the peak of my fitness at that time. And it's taken me approximately maybe three weeks of proper training. And then a few weeks before that, I'm just building up. So it's taken me maybe... A total of, I think it's six weeks, but really half of that has been what I would say proper training. And even then, I'm not at full load yet. So, as a positive outlook, and it looks like the fitness is coming back much, much faster than I anticipated. So, very good news in that respect. And so, for example, you see my splits every ergo, and you can see that they're either getting faster or maintaining. So today you'll see the end of this, the end of the video. I'm at 51, five or six, and so that is decent. That's around where I'm sitting this week, and I'm hoping as I progress to drop. Like the drops came down from like 59, I think the first one was, and then it dropped to like 53 or four in the first week. We're not going to see those type of gains. We're going to just keep going. And seeing sort of gradual improvements. I don't want to just rush everything and make sure my body is ready for what I'm asking it to do every day. Three sessions a day. Maybe four. Maybe five. Maybe one. Maybe two. But I need to make sure I'm ready. And I want to keep improving at a steady pace. I don't want to go pew up a curve and then sort of plateau. I want to just at l the best thing to do would be a, a nice gradual increase the entire time. Until I get to November. Pull in some silly scores. I need to PB in that uh, 2k test in November trials. or That is a plan to PB at that trial. So under 550 would be excellent. Closer to 540 would be absolutely lovely. But we'll see about that. The 3x2k's that will be coming up definitely after Henley. That means uh, you'll be able to track what I'm doing uh, up until then, anyway. But if I, uh, the aim is to go very fast for three by two k, talk about my step test results from 2015. At that point, I was going, or uh, maybe a month later, uh, and so that was in September and November before trials. I was doing. Um, I think it, I remember my best one was 606, 605, 605 for 3x2k. So, I want to get to that level and then smash it in the face. So maybe even 3 sub 6. But we'll see. That's a whole different ball game. And I'm nowhere near that at the moment. But we will find out. So thanks for listening to Fitness Update. I'll see you when I'm done with this air go. And a fantastic session on the rowing machine with Fraser Christie. Lovely 16k. Now it is obviously lunchtime because that's all I do is train and eat. Lasagna today. Lovely. How are you, Sam? <laughs> Big Sam Twine here as well. Okay, we're gonna eat this food, have a rest, and then we've got weights. Some lower body weights. 
Let's see if we can get to that. And we are now in the gym. Fraser Christie getting his upper body on. And, yeah, buddy, merch. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you think of said merchandise. This is sample number two, along with the other t-shirt, only a matter of time. Still got some Chaser Blow tanks. Let me know if you would like those. Or maybe I should make some more. But it is time for Waits Time with Fraser and I. Let's get to it. And what a great weight session it was, finished off by a lovely little biceps circuity type deal with Fraser Christ. How was it, Fraser? Oh man, it was good. Good <laughs> session. Shame about cam lifting light weights, but no, it's okay. <laughs> I lift some weight, but really good session today, so out in the water, really exciting. Wonderful erg, felt like I wasn't even trying. Nat and a lovely weight session. Usually I finish the vlog after the second session, but all three sessions today, let me know if you enjoyed the whole day journey rather than just two thirds. Tonight, nothing planned, just eating and sleeping. Yeah, buddy. Oh, and I've got some news about a giveaway for the 100th vlog, so stay tuned for that. Still ironing out details, but the 100th vlog is only next week. Remember, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Have a good one. <laughs>